This is Rushi Patel, Associate General Counsel for the Georgia Municipal Association. GMA is proud to present part three of this webinar, Weapons in Georgia's Cities, Navigating Georgia's Laws on Firearms, Weapons, and Local Governments. Part three covers courthouses, polling places, and other buildings which may be concerned to city elected officials and law enforcement. This presentation should not be used to substitute for timely advice from the city attorney. Municipal officials should rely on their city attorney to apply the law and judicial interpretations to the specific fact situations they face. In some instances, relevant statutes have been summarized to address key points in a concise manner. The opinions expressed in this publication should not be used or taken as legal advice. A common question when it comes to courthouses is, what about our municipal court? A courthouse is defined in the Georgia Code for this part, and it's defined as a building occupied by judicial courts and containing rooms in which judicial proceedings are held. This definition includes all municipal courts, and all firearms and weapons are prohibited from municipal courts, whether security personnel are present or not. So this means firearms and weapons are prohibited from municipal courts. A common question that has come up is, our court shares a building with other government offices. What are we supposed to do? Well, the law does not directly address situations where municipal court might share a building with other city departments, and each city would be wise to consult with their city attorney as to how such a building should be treated. However, the explicit language of the law defines a courthouse as the building in which judicial proceedings are held. In defining government building, the legislature chose to explicitly state that a building was a government building in a privately owned building only during the time when the government entity was meeting in that building or a government building only in the portion of the building occupied by the government in a privately owned building. Had the legislature wanted to restrict the definition of courthouse, it could have done so in similar fashion, but it chose not to do so. Remember, a courthouse is always going to be a government building, whether it shares space or not. A courthouse is always a government building, but a government building is not always a courthouse. The law has also changed relating to judges. Current judges of all courts in Georgia are exempt from the restrictions on places of carry and licensing requirements, including in government buildings and courthouses, and this can be found in 1611-130-A12. The law also says former judges of all courts who are either retired but otherwise are qualified to get a weapons carry license or served as a judge for at least 24 months and are qualified to get a weapons carry license are likewise exempt from the restrictions on places of carry and licensing requirements, including in government buildings and courthouses. These provisions in the law do not talk about judges of jurisdictions that may not be your own jurisdiction and how a city is supposed to know who is a retired judge or who served as a judge in a different jurisdiction. Cities would be wise to consult their city attorney as to how they set policies concerning former judges. The law on polling places did not change. Only peace officers and certified security guards are allowed to carry firearms into a polling place. All other persons are not permitted to carry firearms within 150 feet of a polling place. Again, this law did not change relating to polling places. Only peace officers and certified security guards are allowed to carry firearms into a polling place. Everyone else cannot bring one within 150 feet of such polling place. The law also did not change with jails and prisons. Firearms and weapons are prohibited from all jails and prisons. Again, firearms and weapons are prohibited from jails and prisons. The law did change, however, when it comes to public housing. A city cannot place any prohibition on restriction of any lawful possession of a firearm as a condition of tenancy in public housing. So the city cannot put any sort of restriction for lawful possession of a firearm 
if someone wants to live in a public housing. The law also places prohibitions on cities when it comes to commercial service airports. Cities are prohibited from enacting any ordinance, resolution, regulation, or policy governing whether any firearm or weapon is allowed in the unrestricted areas of a commercial service airport. Cities cannot pass any rules governing firearms and weapons in that unrestricted area of a commercial service airport. Schools, however, have had some changes to the law under House Bill 60, which will go into effect on July 1, 2014. Local boards of education will be able to designate authorized personnel to carry weapons within school safety zones as long as a person has a weapons carry license and undertakes some training. The Board of Education will be determining the types of weapons allowed, the types of training, and how weapons must be stored. But the Board of Education is not required to share information about the weapons or persons permitted to carry them with local law enforcement. Such information is also protected from open records laws. This slide is put in here for a key point. If your local school board and board of education is con contemplating allowing certain personnel in that school to carry weapons and firearms, the city should be proactive and talk to the school board of at least letting the local law enforcement know which persons are allowed to carry weapons and firearms into that building. So in the event of something terrible happening in that school, that local law enforcement is aware of which teacher or school personnel has a weapon and is allowed to carry a weapon into that building so there is not any confusion. There have been changes in the law about regulation of city employees and weapons and fire alarms. Under the new law, a city may regulate the transport, carrying, and possession of firearms by city employees in the course of their employment, except under the new law, except the police chief shall be responsible for such regulation of any employees under his or her supervision. This includes civilian employees under the police chief's supervision. So, under the old law, the city itself, city council, regulated the transport, carrying, and possession of firearms by all city employees, but the law has changed where the police chief will be responsible for the employees under his or her supervision. While cities have many prohibitions, as has been discussed in parts 1, 2, and 3 of this presentation, on firearms and weapons regulation, cities are allowed to pass ordinances or resolutions reasonably limiting or prohibiting the discharge of firearms within the city's jurisdiction. So the city can pass ordinances or resolutions relating to the discharge of weapons. It is against state law for a person to fire a firearm within 50 yards of a road unless, and this is new to the law, unless they are at a shooting range, the person is at a location used for firearms or hunting safety courses, or if the person is at a business location of a person licensed as a firearms dealer under state law. This is new to Georgia state law under House Bill 773 and is current law. If there are any questions for part three or even part one or part two, city employees, personnel, and elected officials are encouraged to contact your city attorney for any legal advice on how to apply Georgia state law. Your city attorney is the only person that can give you legal advice on these new laws and how to interpret them. Part three of this presentation was presented by Rushi Patel, Associate General Counsel of the Georgia Municipal Association, and my email is rpatel at gmanet.com. We hope you've learned a lot from these presentations and please consult your city attorney should you have any questions about how to interp interpret this law to specific fact patterns in your city.